Hello, my name is Stacy Phillips, and this is my video log for Saturday, August 17th, 2013. It's a hot, hot, hot day here in Arizona. I think it got to 115 today. I am not sure, but oh my goodness, this is one of those days where we truly, we truly need to be felt sorry for living here in Arizona. All of us who tough it out on the beautiful, gorgeous winters. This Days like today are like February 15th for people who live in Canada where it's just been a long, long, long winter and they are done with the snow. I am done with the heat today. Today is the day that I am done with the heat. So um, bring it on. Bring on that cooler weather. I cannot wait. We are get going stir crazy in this house. It's hard to exercise in the morning even. I know, cry me a river. Um, it's pretty warm. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about today in my video log. Today, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about habits. Um, I was reading this morning, I was uh, going through my workbook because Dr. A's Habits of Health book has a companion guide called Living a Longer, Healthier Life. And I am just going through it um, kind of for the first time. I reviewed it before, but because I am in optimal health now, I have a healthy BMI and I'm working toward ultra health, um, I really would like to um, go through that in detail. And I'm actually filling it out as if, I, I, like I say, I reviewed it before and I made some notes, but now I'm just really working through it diligently. And one of the um, sections talks about the decision the decision-making um, process, and when when we have a habit that we are um, like a habit of disease, let's say nighttime eating, or you know um, having a cookie, but then it turning into the whole package, you know before you know it, you found that you had eaten the whole package type type of thing. Um, those types of habits of disease, uh, Dr. A talks about utilizing the stop, challenge, and choose method for, but he also recognizes that sometimes. Um, you know, those instances where we really feel like we stepped out of the decision-making process almost and, and sort of ha didn't have control. It felt like it, it was truly a habit. It was truly a routine. And then once that first, that first action is set in motion, it's almost like the routine just plays itself out until all of a sudden we find ourselves, you know, on the couch having eaten a whole package of cookies. I'm not saying that I've ever found myself on the couch at the bottom of a cookie package. But um, what I'm saying is that um, sometimes when things like that do happen, or you know, you have probably have your own examples of where you say, I, you know, I was doing so well, and then I all of a sudden I found myself, you know, XYZ, name the behavior. Um, Dr. A talks about the fact that, you know, there's a series of decisions, like the, they're like links in a chain. It's a decision chain. And there are, there are a series of decisions that led up to that event that we did have full control over. I mean, of course, we have full control over all of it. But um, in order to make it easier for us to not be in that situation, where we all of a sudden found ourselves, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever was the behavior, there's a, there's a series of events that had to happen to line up um, that circumstance. So in other words, um, let's, let's, let's say it's the package of cookies. That's the example that he uses in the workbook. Um, you know, at some point, um, those cookies were in the pantry and they were very easy to find and then before that they had to be purchased at, at a grocery store and before that um, maybe there was a coupon for them that that was in our coupon box that before that we clipped the coupon at some point and put it into our coupon box that box so um, you know let's say that we back it up to any one of those decisions you go to the decision that is the easiest to stop. So in other words, you're flipping through the coup the newspaper and you come across a coupon for, you know, Keebler soft bake whatever, and you look at that coupon and you say, Hmm, I'm gonna make a rule. I'm not gonna clip any coupons for, for food that, that, that won't help me get to my primary goal. And then you don't clip the coupon. 
so there you you you've you've now stopped the the purchasing of it the putting in your pantry and the eating you've stopped it way back there because you didn't clip the coupon so when it was just an idea in your head you 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 stopped you challenged you chose and clipping that coupon would not have furthered your health goals so you didn't so um, Dr. E talks about that kind of decision chain and where find the link that you can say no to find the link that you can break um, that you do still have that choice that you feel like you have that choice of course we have the choice through the whole the whole experience but sometimes it is harder to stop when you're in the midst of of um, carrying out an, a long ingrained habit um, it's harder to stop challenge and choose then than if you back it up a few decisions on that decision chain and find the one that you can stop challenge and choose on and cut it there so I hope that helps for the weekend um, have a wonderful weekend and we will see you soon bye